part of El Monte City Hall West sits El Monte tonight with your host Arturo Esparza. Tonight's special guest from the El Monte City Council, Councilwoman Vicky Martinez. A special thank you to Joey Duran from Manny's Original Tapiac and our guest band, the Impulse Band. And I'm yours truly, Miss Jamie Neri. Let's get the show started and take it away with the Impulse Band. Go ahead, Impulse Band. Take us away. pay to get in but you're gonna pay to get out okay I'm gonna let you know the fabulous band they were they graced the city of Almani with the memories of Almani concert and it was on in honor of uh, the history the beautiful rich musical history of the city and they just wowed everybody in the crowd there let me tell you you guys are so good you know tell you. well we got a lot to talk about Almani is a busy place so hang on I got to make these announcements that's how we pay our bills around here uh, assembly member Roger Hernandez Community Coffee in El Monte on Saturday, uh, August 24th. We'll be in your community from 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Los Angeles County Norwood Library in the city of El Monte. He'll be hosting uh, Community Coffee, so please come and join him. Community Coffee, Saturday 24th, 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Los Angeles County Norwood Library, 4550 North Peck Road. The address again, 4550 North Peck Road, El Monte, California, 91732. And if you want to contact people, just call their office, 626-960-4457 to get more information. Okay, that's an awesome thing. People get going. Hey, what do you know? The El Monte Moose Family Center. I still can't get over that. Wasn't it a lodge? It's a family center now. <laughs> Maybe it's a family of mooses. Anyway, 13th Annual Antique Car and Motorcycle Show dance concert, and family festival. And they're going to have a whole group of bands, but since we have the Impulse Band, I'm going to mention them. The Impulse Band will be there. Are you guys going on, what, first, last, Eight second? Last, yeah. last, okay. They're the headliners. Let's have a round of applause for that. Come on. They can headline. Okay. Well, there'll be some other bands you might want to go check out. You got Psycho Punk, Papaganda, Papaganda. Okay, Yesterday's Dream, 
Southbound 57s and Shades of LA, but we want the Impulse Band, and we know that. There'll be food, snow cones, uh, Mrs. Books, fun and games, raffles galore. I, wasn't she a dancer? Raffles galore. Anyway, 5050s plus loads of fun. DJ sounds by Frankie D. There'll be trophies, best customized car, motorcycle, or bicycle, best restoration. Most original, first, second, and third place winners will be awarded. Best of show voted by the public, $20. Saturday, August 24th. Everything's on Saturday, August 24th. Man, this is a busy city. 2013, the doors open at 11 a.m. That is 4229 North Peck Road, Almonte, California, 91733. The phone number there is 626-442-1025. Number once again, 626-442-1025. Everyone is welcome. Free admission. Okay. I'll have to come back with some more messages. Okay, housing notice workshops. Call us at 323-980-3500, extension 24. They will be having workshops. I picked this up from the planning department. So you wanna find out from the Los Angeles Center of Law and Justice, provides free so you can deal with uh, your housing situation. Okay, and that is at 1241 South Soto Street, Suite 102 in the Plaza del Sol between 8th and Olympic. Los Angeles 90023. Okay, boy. I gotta get back to these no notices after because I gotta get Vicky up here. Okay, may we have our, our beloved? Let me let me tell you about our council, city council. Here. They are an awesome group of people. She, this young lady, has a resource fair to help the kids for back to school materials. They are gonna be there. When you see our city council people, go up, say hello to them, shake their hands, thank them for the job they're doing. Because you just watch them on the city council meetings. It's like, how would you like somebody to come film you at work, right? These people step out of the way, and they are heroes for this community. So when you go there, participate, tell your friends, and thank them for the wonderful job the city council is doing. Let's give them a round of applause for our city council here. So we're going to have our council member, Victoria Vicky Martinez. Give her a round of applause, please. You're just gonna have to mic. You're gonna have to mic yourself up here. That's fine. Okay, she's used to it. She's a showbiz type person. Very good. Yeah, you? Yes. So, how you doing, young lady? Good, good. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. I tell you, it's great to always have you on the show because I know you just bring some all kinds of new goodies and activities for the community, and that's why every time you show up, if it's not little league softball girls, it's activities like the resource fair, and you're you're right in the thick of it, or the impulse band for the memories of El Monte concert. Thought I forgot, huh? That's she, right. She you introduced. It's good to see all of you again. Thank you for being out there last year with our memory of memories of Almani concert. That concert, so you know, was really a tribute um, from a group of young people who grew up here in the city of Almani that wanted to really recognize our rock and roll history. So they were the ones that were organizing it and really putting everything together to celebrate our centennial and to celebrate the rock and roll history and you were a part of that. So to that Impulse Band, thank you very much. Yeah, Impulse Band again. Okay. We got it. <laughs> See, I really love a band that applauds for itself. And I love that. <laughs> awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Anyway, so tell us about the resource. We got some footage, by the way, you'll see in a few minutes. So what I'm here today to talk about is the El Monte Back to School Resource Fair. What the Almani Back to School Resource Fair is the opportunity for all of these community partners to come together to provide our students here that go to school in Almani um, the possibility of a new backpack, the possibility of some new socks, um, pencils, paper, glue sticks, erasers, pencil pouches. What we're really doing is getting our students ready to start school off right. For us, Remember when it was your first day of school, Art? Uh, I know it was a long time ago. Yeah, I was going to say, me, Fred, Bonnie, and Wilma <laughs> in Flintstoneville. <laughs> I'm kidding with you. But one of the best things about getting ready to go back to school, for me, when I was growing up, was my mom and dad would take me to go get a haircut. And that haircut was the key to my self-esteem walking in on the first day. So the Professional Institute of Beauty has gone ahead and they are donating 300 haircuts so that these young men and women can go into school with a fresh backpack, uh, school supplies that they need, and the haircut 
that might just get them in to that school spirit and really wanting to succeed this school year. That's what the Back to School Resource Fair is about. And I have to tell you, this community has pulled together so amazingly. We have over 30 organizations donating to this cause this year. It's been overwhelming, quite honestly. And it's been a blessing to be able to be the chairperson for this and to see how many people really care about our children here in the city of Almani. Um, I moved because there's just an abundance of love. And uh, this and project is, my, is, is you know, something that's very close to my heart. So I really want you to know that it's gonna be extraordinary on Saturday and we invite you to come and join us. And let me tell you, round of applause for this young lady. She works so hard. <laughs> Thank you. One of the hardest working women in the business. We have the flyer here. It's at 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Almonte Valley Mall. So you want to be able to be there on Saturday. I tell you, everything's happening on Saturday. I mean, this yeah. town is going to be jumping on that day. You get a chance to go to this. You get to go to a car show, a coffee with an assemblyman. I mean, you have everything but the kitchen sink thrown in. And I'm, they'll probably distribute it here, too. Okay. okay, so that's on the 24th. We're going to run some footage right here real quick, and then we'll get back to Vicky, so she can give us uh, you know, a little bit more lowdown on it and how many wonderful things that are gonna be happening because we have a great we have great schools in this community. We do. We have, you know, everything from the high school, Almani uh, Union High School District, to the city schools, to uh, Mountain View, to, oh my God, wonderful schools here and wonderful educators and the kids are awesome. Let me tell you, I know this firsthand. So let's take it away with the B-roll and the out of control room of last year's resource fair. We're gonna do it run about three, four minutes because we don't wanna steal um, Vicky's time. We don't like doing that here on <laughs> El Monte tonight. Take it away. My name is Ken Roush. I'm the executive director of the El Monte South El Monte Chamber of Commerce in the downtown. It is a pleasure to be here uh, at our back to school resource fair. And when people say it's all about the kids, it truly is today. How about a nice round of applause for all the kids here? Yay. Yay. At this time, I'd like to have everybody rise and we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. I'd like to have Adrian and his family. He's going to be leading us today in the Pledge of Allegiance. Adrian? Okay, that was a little bit of the action of uh, some of the dignitaries over there because, you know, they, everybody needs their 15 minutes of fame. So we're going to run a little bit of the kids because that's what you want to see. Everybody wants okay. to see the kids getting, you know, backpacks and all that good stuff. So the out-of-control room is going to take care of that. But Vicky's going to tell us a little bit more what inspired her for this great, great oh. program here that you're doing. Thank you for asking that question. Um, 
A couple of years ago, a friend of mine who is a council member in the city of Azusa, he does what's called haircuts for kids. And I thought to myself, you know what, council member Gonzalez, that's wonderful. Um, I really like that you do that, and I think that we have the opportunity to do it here in the city of Almani. So two years ago, prior to being elected, I just wanted to do something like that for the kids, um, getting them ready to go back to school. So created a partnership with the Professional Institute of Beauty, and uh, we were able to serve 100 families that first year. And then I thought to myself, I got elected. We could do this bigger. We can double it. And uh, I've got a little bit of a running joke going on now with the council member from Azusa that we just do things bigger in Almani. We've got uh, a bigger population to serve, so of course the event that we do has gotten bigger. Last year, we gave away over a thousand backpacks, a thousand pairs of socks, and uh, notebooks, and we really did serve a lot of people. But we knew that the event was going to grow. So this year, we plan to serve at least 1,500 kids this year. We've got uh, 1,600 backpacks donated. We've got 1,600 pairs of socks donated, thousands of notebooks, pencil, paper, uh, glue sticks, like I said, pouches, all of that. I want you to know it is going to be on a first come, first serve basis. Um, we also will be, this is put on by El Monte community members. So it is meant for children that go to school at the, either the El Monte City School District, the Mountain View School District, or the El Monte Union High School District. So recognizing this is all an El Monte event um, please, Almani students only. Um, See, impulse band, you can't go. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice try. I saw a couple of you guys thinking about backpacks. Yeah, he's ready. He's ready. <laughs> as much as we'd love to serve all of the children in the San Gabriel Valley, this is meant for, for our Almani uh, residents and those who attend our schools. want to share with you briefly uh, the number of people that have come out in sponsorship. It's been tremendous. Um, our waste haulers, both Valley Vista and American Reclamation. Um, one of our, our uh, uh, big rental where you go and you, you get a storage unit, they're called Store America. They donated some of our backpacks. Our Police Officers Association, our Rotary, Kiwanis Club. Um, we've got a Healthy Family Expo this year where we've got the VCAPs will be doing free fingerprinting for children. We've got the Almonte Parks and Rec coming out and giving uh, stickers and free little face uh, paintings or tattoos that say parks make life better. We've got uh, four different dental offices coming out to pass out free toothbrushes. Um, CalFresh, which is uh, the opportunity to, if you need to, it's fresh food for people here that um, it's a conversation about being healthier. So a healthy family expo is all set up and we couldn't do it without our partners. Um, the list of partners are too long to mention today. Uh, we will be mentioning them on Saturday, but I want you to know that uh, this group of extraordinary individuals and organizations have come together to support this community. Oh, let's hear from them, man, come on. You know, all we needed was uh, manual special, and we've been all set. <laughs> hey, Joey, that's because our next guest is Joey. Okay, let's run that footage of some of the kids uh, receiving some of the things. So you get a feel of what's going on there, you know, and uh, awesome kind of thing. And, of course, we'll be out there to videotape it as well, because that's what we do around here. Let's take it away. Out of control room. So, <laughs> this is my baby. This is my dream to come to uh, fruition. So, needless to say, I'm happy. Uh, you know what, we need... Yeah, 
so go for this. Having fun? Well, who are you? I thought I'd seen you before. Huh? You're right next to me in my house. You look beautiful, honey. Yes. Okay, that was wonderful. Last year, let me tell you. The line was just in the morning. Okay, and my advice to you parents, get there early. Because the line was around the block. And there's that one part where they were going through when they were fingerprinting the kids, which is a, a, a wonderful opportunity that it takes a little time for the line to move around. So you want to get there early, make sure, like the councilwoman said, first come, first serve. Well, Art, we did make some adjustments this year. Oh, beautiful. To accommodate more people more efficiently. So keep your fingers crossed that um, we're able to move that line. I wanted to just remind that this is for Almani students. Um, and school age students so unfortunately if your child is attending preschool um, they will be getting everything that they need at their preschools this is for students that are starting kindergarten all the way through high school so that's what our focus has been um, to really support these young people as they get ready to have an incredible educational experience in our schools but we're getting them started started off right with the back to school resource fair this Saturday can we get a shot of the flyer real quick before Councilwoman leaves? Let's zoom on in on the Zoom cam. It's almost 3D. Look at that. If you'd like there. more information, feel free to give a call to City Hall or the Chamber of Commerce, which is one of our major sponsors. Okay, well, let's, let's hear it for the Councilwoman once again. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Vicki, for coming on. Thank you, Art. I appreciate it. You know, she was very patient sitting here, and let me tell you. It's a madhouse here, and she'll testify to that. So let's take it away with the fabulous one and only No Baloney Impulse Band here on Almani tonight. Take it away.
Well, that'll help, won't it? It even happens to the best of us. I'll repeat that after. American Legion, concert fundraiser. This is uh, last week for those of you that tuned in.